Yes, I knew I'd find you. Now to find everything else. Aha! Uh -huh. There you are, mister. This room isn't going to tidy itself, Benji. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? <gasps> I haven't seen this in ages. Let's have a look. Ooh, how about a story? Yes, please. About the time Sullivan sailed to the Coral Reef. There's so much to see in coral reefs. Giant sea turtles, big clams, and teeny tiny seahorses. You know, seahorses are quite popular. Apparently, they make good neighbours. <laughs> I'd really love to see one of these. A puffer fish. Aha! Well, let's have a look and see what we can find, shall we? I spy, with my sailor's eye, something beginning with C. Coral! Correct! The water's so clear. That's one of the very special things about coral. It cleans the water it's in. And do you see how close we are to the shore? That's because coral needs shallow water to grow. It needs to be able to feel the warmth of the sun. Is it a rock or a plant? Neither. Corals are animals. They're living creatures. Whoa! Hold your seahorses. What's that? Jiggling jellyfish. It can't be. It is! It's the old McBarnacle! The old McBarnacle? Uh, it's a ship that was stranded on the reef hundreds of years ago, and it's right there! They say it has treasure. Let's go for a swim. Ready? Ready. Clownfish, such jokers. Aha! around. Where? There! Huh. Master of disguise. Some seahorses can even change colour to blend in with the coral. And there's a sea turtle. What's it sitting on? That's a sea sponge. Probably soaking up the atmosphere. <laughs> now, swim over here and give me a hand. Whoa! A giant clam! Ah, a giant clam, did you say? Well, if you're lucky, you might see a giant pearl in there, too. <gasps> Any luck? Nope. It snaps shut. Ah, looks like none of us are going to see any treasure today. Hold on. What's that? Starfish. 
rubbish. It's a treasure chest. Let's open it up. Oh, there's nothing there. Just a teeny tiny fish. Ah. Or a big puffer fish. Say cheese. I really thought we were going to find that hidden treasure. We did. We found a whole lot of treasure hidden under the sea. So we did. That photo is priceless. <laughs> My treasure. And Benji, too. What's your treasure, Mum? That's easy. It's you. Wait till you see what's in our bucket pond now, Sullivan. A water beetle! And loads of algae. Maybe we'll even have a frog visitor soon. Frogs? Really? I can't see any yet. Let's wait a bit and see. And I can tell you a story about the time that Sullivan sailed to the underwater forest. And we've arrived. a forest. You're right about that. But not all forests are made of trees. And... <sighs> not all forests are on land. Let's go diving! Welcome to the Kelp Forest, the maze of the Pacific Ocean. That's why we need to stick close together. There's a lot of algae. Algae? Like in our pond back home? Exactly. Just way bigger. Instead of living on the surface of the water, these algae grab on tight to the sea floor. And they have little balloons, like this, called bladders, which keep them floating upwards towards the sun. Oh. <laughs> it also has lots of things hidden in it, like that otter and her pup. Yep, lots of animals and fish love this kelp forest. It's a perfect place for a game of hide and seek. Gabbering Garibaldis! Benji? Are you there? Yep, I'm here. It must be a giant Pacific octopus. They squirt out ink clouds when they need to make a quick exit. Where's it gone? <laughs> Probably down to the seafloor. It has all the best hiding spots. Going down. <laughs> They would eat up the whole forest. 
That's where the sea otter comes in. It eats urchins. So the forest is kept for all the fish and other creatures to live in. <laughs> exactly. Including the giant Pacific octopus. It's very rare. That's why this habitat is so special. That urchin looks pretty special too. Sneaking cephalopods. I don't think that's a sea urchin at all. Then what is it? It's the octopus. It's changed its color to blend in with its surroundings. Octopuses are clever like that. Hello. They can also get into incredibly small spaces. Animals down here take hide and seek very seriously. Oh, I hope I didn't frighten it. I think it's more curious. Look, it's watching us. If we stay very, very still, it might come out. Or maybe we could play hide and seek. Great idea, shipmate. I learned from the best hide and seeker in the kelp forest. The octopus! <laughs> I think it's seen us. Sometimes when we look beyond the surface, what's hidden beneath can be really special. A frog! <laughs> what did I tell you? Maybe we'll have some baby tadpoles soon. Maybe. Let's wait and see.